Here you go, mate. Well, very fun. Have another one. I've had a lucky couple of days, but um, don't go spend it all on booze, though, eh? Hang on a minute. What makes you assume that I'm a beggar? Or an alcoholic, for that matter? Sorry, mate, I didn't realise. Ah, well, I could just as easily assume that you are some soft, southern, lily liver, pasty faced, patronising bunce. But I wouldn't, because that's the difference between your northerner and your southerner. We don't judge. Yeah, right. Hmm. Actually, I'm looking for directions. Albert Square, do you know it? Oh, yeah. As a matter of fact, I do. Hmm. Any chance you'd be showing me? I had a great auntie who came from the north. Oh, where was that then? Chesterfield, wasn't it? Listen, soft lad. Chesterfield is in Derbyshire, and Derbyshire's in Midlands. Midlands is not in the north, are you clear? Well, I know this is Albert Square. Ah. Oh, your mission's accomplished. I'll bid you a fond farewell. Well, it was nice to meet you. Visiting, are you? Um... Bert. Um, yes, I am indeed. Bradley. Yeah. Well, if you're around, as I say, I've had a lucky couple of days. So, um, can we over there later on celebrating? If you fancy a bit of southern hospitality. I've had a mite too much of that just recently. Was it? No, no, man. Well, office open, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, I'll see you, man. Boom. 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 Bradley's home. He's just coming across the square now. If you're quick, you can catch him. What do I want to catch him for? Well, you've got that many blokes sniffing around you can pick and choose. What's that look for? Is it because he's polite? Is it because he's kind? Is it because he's got a good job? Or is it because he's just too good looking for you? Have you seen them clothes? This has got nothing to do with his clothes. It's you being a stuck-up little madam. If you want to be lonely and miserable, fine. But if you've got one ounce of sense, you'll go round and make it up with that boy right now. Hello, Bradley. You're back early. I've had a really lucky day. Oh, have you? Yeah. What, did you get mugged and fall down the manhole, did you? No, this was a really, really lucky day. Oh, what, you put all that money that you won at poker last night on horse and it came in last... Poker, Bradley? Look, there's only pennies, Dorothy. Go on, tell her, Bradley, go on. Hey, come on in, come on. Tell us about this lucky day of yours, then. Go on. Well, you know, all the investment houses in the city have their bonus days. Yeah. yeah. Well, it was bonus day at our firm today. Oh, <laughs> Bradley. Yeah. You know, Gordon, my boss. Yeah. £40,000. Oh. Yeah, and Dave, his boss, £75,000. Oh. What, did you get a bonus all then, did you? I certainly did. <laughs> oh, Bradley. <laughs> How much? £55. I mean, oh. I've only been there a month. Well, I suppose if you look at it from that point of view... Yeah, well within the rights not to give me anything at all, so I'm well pleased. Well, we should be out celebrating tonight then, will you? I certainly will, Grandad. I'm in the chair all night. Oh. But, um, I'm just going to have a quick bar first, if that's all right. Jim? Huh? You're not drinking away all that lad's hard-earned money? Hard-earned money? He works for an investment bank! Parasites upon the working class, and oh. they are. So me having a couple of parts of my grandson is only me reclaiming what is rightfully mine. Is he in? Yeah, that's him in the bath, yeah. All right, then I'll come back later. Oh, I bet you will. What? Well, it didn't take you long, did it? What do you mean? This bonus. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah. I thought it was all over between you, but as soon as he comes into a few, Bob, you're straight round here. There's a word for girls like you, you know. I don't know anything about a bonus, Jim. Yeah, no, I'm Pope Pius the 14th. What do you want? What do you want, what I like? Dot surgical cool red. Yeah, well, I'm not after your money, if that's what you think. You what? So what? You've got a bonus. Big deal. Who told you about that? And I bet you've been boasting to everyone who listen and all. No, I haven't. That's the trouble with you city types. You think everyone's for sale, but we're not, all right? Well, look, I was thinking we could make it up. I was going to ask you for a drink. Oh, tough luck. Give up. Hey, you sure you won't come? Just for half hour. That's all I'm going to be. I've got to be up up past three to take Kevin to the airport. I wish Ruby was here. Yeah, not as much as I do. What's that supposed to mean? Well, it might cheer you up a bit, Stacey. All right, I know you're going through a bad patch, but sometimes, girl, you can be very hard work. You know that? What do you mean? Oh, ask Bradley. If you say sorry, it'll all be forgotten. Fair enough. But if you think differently later, you know where I'll be, all right? 
Hey, Charlie. Yeah. Do you know it's Kevin's last night in Walford? I should do. I'm taking him to the airport at four this morning. God help me. <laughs> Go with Carly and what's his face, uh, leaving Pat, you'll have the house to yourself. Yeah, are you going to miss him? Well, I won't miss the queue for the bathroom, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, I will. You've been a pleasure to have around, Kevin. Oh. Come for me, old son. Good luck. Ah, oh, cheers, Jim. Here's to Kevin. Yeah, cheers. Such a shame Carly and Nico can't be here, eh? One more drink, then I'm on my way. Oh, no, let me, please. Same again all round? Oh, yeah, You've been in the chair all night. Stop it. What can I say? I've had a lucky day. And what's the point in having the cash if you can't be flashed, eh? Where'd you get that one from, Bradley? Oh, me boss Golden. He's always saying that. Reassure me of one thing, Bradley. What's that, Kev? You're a really nice lad and I like you a lot, but you are working in the belly of the beast. Do you understand what I'm saying? These people who are moving cash about all day, to them it's just numbers on a spreadsheet. But what they're doing is buying and selling people's lives. Forget that, and you'll forget who you are. Don't sell your soul, Bradley. Not for all the money in the world. You're worth more than that. Nice speech. Here, you listen to this man. I am. And I will. Thanks, Kev. Here you are, Trace. You keep the change. I think it all got a little bit uh, serious then. Last toast of the evening to Bradley and all who say to him, should they be so lucky. Bradley! Yeah, yeah. Good lad. Stacy! What happened to you? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? You come in the pub and then you go straight out again. Hmm? I couldn't face it. Couldn't face what? Saying sorry to Bradley? You don't bite, you know. People. I can't face people. What's that look for? Nothing, nothing. No, go on, what's it for? Well, it's just that I remember your mum saying that years back. I'm not my mother. I know you're not. You did ask. You all right, love? Listen, uh, I've got to go to bed because I've got an early start, yeah? See ya. Stacy, love. Don't give yourself too hard a time. That's all I'm saying. Be a bit kinder to yourself, yeah? 